Hello, good morning, everyone. Very warm welcome to Baby Code Free Sessions. I'm Tanu Vimani, an IDP certified trainer and a Defilin to Sol certified trainer. I'm back with my IELTS tips, right? So I'm providing you some of the tips so that you can score band higher. Now, today's session is about how you can score band seven and above. Candidates who are struggling with band six or 5.5 or 6.5 and they want to score band 7 and above so they need to follow all those steps which i am going to deliver you now right so the very first step for you which will help you in improving your score from 5.5 to 7 or 6.5 to 7 or 6 to 7 right so if you are practicing but still at lower band level follow my tips tip number one Start with deciding on the format. This is a very important thing to know that you should decide what format you are going to opt for, whether it is a paper-based format or IELTS computer-delivered format. You know that IELTS examination is available in two formats, paper-based and the computer-delivered, right? Now, both have their pros and cons. Oh, just give me a second. Now, both have their own pros and cons, right? Whether you offer paper-based, they have their own pros and cons and even computer-delivered have their own. But choosing the correct format is very important to have your desired band score, right? Now, you should decide that which format you are comfortable taking. Paper-based is something when you will be having a question paper and then you have an answer sheet to write down the answer. Right. But in the computer delivered, you need to be good with your computer skills because you are going to type everything. You need to drag your screen up and down uh, for the reading part also. So there can be some challenges which you might face in computer based exam. Like you have to highlight everything with a yellow highlighter. You can't underline anything. But yes, when you double click on something, then it will be highlighted in the yellow color. And while reading or typing, if your speed is slow, you're not a techie person, so then you are going to face difficulty. And same goes for the paper base also. The candidates struggle if they are not used to writing any more on paper. So if you are not a person who doesn't know how to write or on paper, like it's been long back, you had your writing. So then again, you will be facing difficulty. So we know here that time is the only crucial factor. So decide the correct choice of paper you are looking for, that which format is com more comfortable for you, whether it is paper-based or it is computer level, right? Second one is understanding the IELTS exam pattern. Now, students, they start doing practicing the mock test. No, you should know the pattern before. Start going towards IELTS examination. That IELTS examination is for two hours and 45 minutes, right? One hour is for reading, one hour is for writing, half an hour for listening and 15 minutes, 11 to 14 minutes approximately for the speaking part. Listening, you have four sections and total 40 questions. Reading, you have three sections and total 40 questions. Writing, you have two tasks, task one and task two. It is different in the case of general academic, general and academic, right? And speaking has three parts and it is face-to-face -face conversation, right? So you need to know the exam pattern that yes, reading paper has three passages and the time allotted is 60 minutes. And within that 60 minutes, you need to write the answers also. There is no extra time for writing the answers to the answer sheet. So candidate needs to answer a total of 40 questions, basically in 55 minutes, because last five minutes you need for transferring your answers to the answer sheet. Next one, know how the paper is marked. So how the scoring is done, basically. Marking criteria is another important thing which you should note. 
while preparing for the examiner exam you should know about this right that you are required to answer 40 questions and for each correct answer you will get one mark right scores now later on they are scaled or they are mapped from like scores to IELTS band scores from 2.5 to 9. Now suppose if you want to score band 7 and above and you are an academic candidate, your correct answers need to be more than 30 or 30. 30 to 32 means 7 band. And if you are a general candidate and you are scoring 7 and above, then you need to score more than 34 or 34, then it is 7 band. So look at the band descriptors. What are your score requirements? If you want to score 7 and above, you need to target 30 in academic and 34 in generalized, right? Develop your study plan. Now, always create a strict timetable and you should follow it because it is the only key where you can achieve your desired band score. Look at your goal in concrete terms, whether put it in writing, strength your resolve also, strengthen it, right? You have to remember that it's not an academic challenge. It's your job and life right now. You're going for a university and if you do not score your IELTS score, you will get demotivated and then again, you will start preparing for it. So make sure that you do it in the very first attempt. So make your study plan a strict one and follow it as well. Have a positive mindset towards the examiner. Be a positive person. We always suggest our student to be a positive one. Being positive throughout the paper is indispensable. If you are any of the person who have already taken the test before and still keep trying until you achieve your goal, right? So be positive. Persistence is the key. IELTS can be tricky, but if you stay focused and you keep on practicing, then you will attain your score very quickly right so be positive when you go for an examination observe your errors from the previous attempt start learning from your mistakes if you have attempted the exam before focus on what mistakes you have done look at the factors which hindered your desire mark pick those errors Look at your problem area, start working on the problem area so that you can achieve your desired band. Notice the kind of errors you're making whenever you practice, whether it is reading, writing, any model. Suppose reading, you're facing difficulty with the true false not given. So how? You're not able to locate the statements. You're not able to locate your uh, keywords area. What difficulties you are facing, right? And you're, why you're getting the low score, whether it is about vocabulary, understanding or analyzing, time management, whatever you face difficulty, observe them and then start practicing on it, right? Know your weakness. Now, if you know your weakness and you start working on them, then you will practice effectively for the exam and you will attain your score very quickly. So reflecting on your errors always help you practice. Take skimming and scanning also very seriously in the reading part. Next one, time management is essential. Now, time is a crucial factor, as I told you. Start timing yourself whenever you sit for practicing any IELTS paper, whether it is reading, writing. Because sometimes students face difficulty, face this problem that during the exam or one of the factors like why he's not able to finish the exam on time. So make sure you practice during the certain time period that yes you have 60 minutes you have to find out the answer of 40 questions you have to write the answers into answer sheet as well right don't try to find the answer to one question for too long do not waste your time strategize your time that you have 20 minutes for only section one during the exam time make your time that you have to complete one section in 15 minutes right should strategize according to yourself Checking the information during the revision time. Now, whenever you're finding any answer, a particular question, check the sentence before and after that. You might be wrong in guessing also. So it is advisable that you cross-check your answer before you put your final answer to the answer sheet. Always, always read again. Review also, right? Keep practicing, keep learning and watch your IELTS journey score. I am 
assuring you that yes you will be able to score band 7 and above if you focus on all these tips right so follow us on instagram as well as on the youtube you can watch these sessions again if you want to have a live session with me with the sorting out your queries and doubts you can attend the live session at 4 pm today right every day we are commencing one session on 4 pm so you can start joining our session at 4 o'clock bye bye take care all of you and thank you for joining us